All right, good morning. Uh, this is Tuesday and we are doing a lab today. So it's gonna be really important for you guys at home watching this to follow through and make sure you're recording the information that I'm gonna be giving you um, as we work through this lab. So um, we are going to be using some supplies. And so I've gotten them all sitting here already uh, so we are going to go in and again, open your digital notebook and open up the um, Explore Student Guide for the Cardiovascular System that we read yesterday. And we're going down here to the last page. And um, basically, we're not doing the second page because I don't have the equipment for it. However, this uh, part is a little bit fun. So if you're in class today, you're actually going to get a Twizzler to eat after we're done. Not the one we're using because that would be gross. But the interior structure of blood vessels impacts how blood flows through them. Some vessels push through the body while other vessels pull it along with a type of siphoning motion. The walls of the vessels are designed for the role they play in the flow of blood. Alteration to a vessel, such as cholesterol or plaque buildup, can impact blood flow. So in the classroom, we are going to be working with your table partners. So if you have a table partner, you will be working with them. If you don't have a table partner, you would be doing this by yourself. And so I'm modifying this a little bit. It's basically one Twizzler per group, one straw, a drinking cup, a graduated cylinder, um, a squirt bottle, and we're going to be using our cell phones or our uh, computers for a timer. So I'm going to go into my timer function right now and make sure that I have it set for five seconds. Um, and so it says fill the squirt bottle half full with water. So I have the squirt bottle here. And what it wants me to do is insert the end of the nozzle into one of the Twizzlers. Now, when you first get your Twizzler, um, I don't know if you can see, but there's really no hole. So what we need to do is we actually need to cut the Twizzler. And now you can see that there is a hole right here inside of it. And so I've already cut the other side, but you can see that this is a very, very narrow hole, okay? So I wanna make sure that you, you see that right from the start. So now it says, we are gonna point the other end of the Twizzler into a small drinking cup, start the timer and gently squeeze the squirt bottle for five seconds. You should not be squeezing it super hard. It is a gentle squeeze. And uh, once the timer goes off, we're gonna pour the water from the cup into a graduated cylinder. And then we're gonna record our results in the data table. And then we're gonna repeat this one to, uh, steps one through five, two more times with the Twizzler. Then we're gonna switch and use a straw and do the same thing, recording our information in our digital notebook. So let's go ahead and get to slide seven. And you see here, Twizzler, test one, two, three, and our observation. So I'm gonna stop sharing so you can see this on a bigger screen. We are gonna take our Twizzler and we are going to place it in here. I have my squirt bottle and my timer. So this is really uh, much easier when we are working in pairs because we can hit all the buttons and do everything at the same time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my nozzle because it's a little hard to get it into the Twizzler from the start. So I have to get that nozzle in there. And now I'm going to hit start and I'm also going, ooh, maybe, hold on here, let me get it. There we go. And start. So I gently squeezed and now I have some water in here. 
I'm gonna take that water and I'm going to pour it into my graduated cylinder. And reading from the bottom of the meniscus, and I don't know how easily you can see it, but we are at 6.6. .6. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna come back to here and I'm going to put in 6.6 .6, and I don't even have to put milliliters because it's already there. Now I'm gonna do my second test. So I'm gonna dump this out. Of course, I didn't get myself a dumping cup. Give me just a second. Dump this out. And now we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to set this up, get our Twizzler again, get ourselves set and start. And I did notice this time, and I don't know if you can see it as well, there's a little bit of cracking around our top and this time some water flowed down the outside. So we had some leaking this time. So we're gonna pour this in. And this time I got, if you can read it, 4.5 milliliters. So going back to your dock, on here, we're going to put 4.5. Okay, I'm gonna dump this out again. And we're gonna do this a third time. So let's get us set up here. Notice that my nozzle goes in a little easier now. However, we do have some breaking and cracking here. And here we go. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna redo this one only because my body, I ended up um, tipping over the cup on accident. And sometimes that happens. We're just gonna redo this one. Just a second. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Sorry about that, but these things happen. So here we go. This time I had a lot more flowing out of the top of this and down the side. So um, that's also something to note. So let's pour this in. And this time I got 4.7. So we're going to come back. And we are going to type here 4.7. Now I told you some things and you may have seen some things on the video. So you're gonna type those observations on what you saw happen. Um, why would it be that I may have, you know, um, have this tip over or the nozzle come out? What were some of the reasons that that could have happened? Now we're gonna do the same thing with the straw. Okay, so I have my straw and we're gonna do the same thing, five seconds. Put this in the top, it's a little bit easier with this one and go. So 
I'm going to take this again, pour it into here. And we have about 5.9 on this one. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to type 5.9. Now we're going to do this again. Again, it's a gentle squeeze. Okay. Um, this time it looks to be about eight point five. So we're going to come back here. We're going to type in 8.5. And now we're going to do our last one. This one looks to be about 5.1. So I'm going to type 5.1. Now, with this one, we really didn't see any leaking. Um, we didn't see any cracking of the straw. And you should have noticed something about the flow of the water as well. So you're going to type that into your observations section. Then, you are going to go on to slide eight and slide nine. And you're going to answer those questions based off of what you saw, what you read. Um, yep. And then once you're done with that, you're done. Make sure that by the time you come to class tomorrow, that you have completed all of your red slides. Remember, this is one of your last classwork grades, so you want to make sure you have all of your slides completed um, by next week when we have that due date. Have a good afternoon, everybody.